Starting route to 1801 Hay Street, I-40 West toward Memphis. At that airport. Hallmark Channel? I know. After a past midnight arrival, we all crashed and slept in in the morning. But once we got up and out the door, we headed to Centennial Park to see the Parthenon. But of course, the Taylor Swift bench as well. Then we headed downtown. Sarah really wanted some cowboy boots, so we stopped at the boot barn where they had literally every color boots you could ever want. Then we headed to the milkshake bar because the perfect time beating ice cream and is when it's 30 degrees outside. It was really good though. We were gonna eat here, Hattie B's hot chicken. And we did, just not inside. Not only was the line super long, but while walking outside, a flock of birds flew over our heads, and one just so happened to poop on me. So, Sarah and Lily brought dinner back where we could eat in the safety of our hotel room. And lastly, that night we went to a hockey game. The National Predators versus New York Islanders. The game looked pretty much like this the entire time. But in the last 10-ish minutes or so, the Islanders scored. Only to be beaten by the Predators who scored twice after. Sunday morning, we slept in even longer. Missing breakfast, but making it to brunch. Seemingly at the same time, everybody else in Nashville wanted to go. So we walked and shopped while waiting for a table. But the hour and a half wait time was just too much. And so we ended up at a ramen place. Can't really complain. We also stopped by Five Daughters afterwards for some hot cocoa and donuts. And I said, wait just a little while and tell me where you've been. I've been staying. We didn't really have any other plans for the rest of the afternoon, so we wandered around the Opry shopping mall for two hours, maybe more, and eventually decided to go to dinner early for some BBQ at Martin's. A sandwich and a pancake cornbread. I'm not going. This mac and cheese is not my thing at all. What's wrong with the mac and cheese? I don't know. Yesterday's was really good. This one's just nah, you know. And because it was in the low 20s the rest of the night and starting to snow, we just sort of stayed in, opened some Christmas presents, and then caught up. Oh, we 
we did at one point get hungry again and sort of desperate. So we bundled up and trudged through the snow for some dumplings, rice, and trulies. And that's pretty much how the night ended. Now is the time to set your sights high and go for it. Yes. There you go. <laughs> At around 3 a.m., Lily and Sarah got up. Goodbye. The snow wasn't too bad at that point, so she was able to fly out that day. Me, on the other hand, there was about five inches of snow on the ground. Sarah did manage to drop me off at the airport. Bye! Only to discover that I no longer had a plane ticket because my flight got canceled. So I ended up spending another unplanned but relaxing night in Nashville. Thankfully, the following morning, enough snow had been cleared out of the way, so I was able to make it home. Down to the library, put all the books already burned. So we must make our own history for people after us to learn. And we will make this journey on our own, and I know we'll crash and burn. So come and fall with me into the thorns and feel the sting your stomach churns. Oh, 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 I'm getting more than I can say And oh, 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 you know you drive me insane And I remember every word you said And every time you've acted cold Don't mistake this for being overread Don't think you're worth your weight in gold and I will make this journey on my own And I know I will succeed I've got my whole life right in front of me You're not the only thing I see And oh, 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 oh I'm getting more than I can take And oh, 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 oh You know you drive me insane me insane. He drove himself in New York and I'm, I mean, you like that? Why does the face have to look so Not to be over here. No, the face looks like it's still in the air right here, Sophie. Yeah. Let's see if you're going to go this. He's 31. Are you looking at Bumble on the toilet? Yeah. <laughs>